Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you a different kind of video and this is about the Beauty Cash app and just to get it out of the way, I'm not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. In December I went ahead and I bought this for my inventory. It's through the App Store uh, with the iPhone and it was $1.99 at the time and now uh, I've heard conflicts about the price. I've heard some people say that it's $2.99 and some people say it's $3.99. Either way, it's well worth it. You're able to put in your inventory. So I bought it in December and I took a bunch of pictures and I started to add it. It was extremely time consuming. So I took a break and the last couple of days I decided I was going to finish. And whenever I say it's time consuming, I mean I took pictures of everything, I looked up the prices as far as I could go on any of the websites, like with Ulta you can go, only go past a year as far as prices go, and I wanted to know the final total of everything. Plus once you're done it becomes easy, you know, especially if you're project planning and you don't buy a lot of things, it's very easy to just add it. So this is, this is what the app looks like. Right here, it's called My Beauty Cash. As you can see, you can have everything. Here's the list of the products that you can add. All you have to do to add a product is go right there. You add your picture and everything else. If you just hit brand, these are all the ones that you simply add to your app. Categories, it's pretty much whatever you want it to be. Again, you only have to add the categories once. Makeup bag, which is all the items that you're using right now. Be routine, which I have for skincare. 292 products, and that is the total of what it's worth. Store, brand, month, and year. You can have lists, and if you go to category, you can see everything that you have in that specific category. Let's take this for example. Go right here on this icon right here, and you can move to the product archive. Product archive. And what it does is, uh, it doesn't delete it, it keeps it in your archive. So the reason why I decided to do this is I was curious at how much all my products were worth. Now, there are things that are the samples that I got for free, but I wanted the value of them. The only time I didn't do the value of them is if they were foil samples, or little perfume samples, things like that. Now my total was a little alarming. Like my friend Nita said, you can go on a two week trip to Italy or you could buy a used car with that price. And it really just puts things into perspective for me uh, to the point where I've talked myself out of the Too Faced palette um, that started my whole project panning. Because again, Nita said, when are you gonna ever get to it? You won't get to it until after you're done project panning. And I don't plan on stopping project panning anytime soon at all. I have enough eyeshadows to last me 10 years if I do pan that palette every single year or some, time, or some kind of project that has to deal with, um, that has to do with using up the eyeshadows. So realistically, I don't need anything and I was able to talk myself out of it. It's gonna sit there unused for what, five years? So I'm gonna just enjoy what I have. I'm not gonna be on a no-buy. This February is my only no-buy month. No, I, I don't think I'm gonna do forced no-buy, but I know that I won't be buying things. I will only be buying what I need to repurchase for my routine as of right now because that number is overwhelming and I do have a goal now set for myself for 2017. I want that $4,800 number to be in half by 2018. That is a goal of mine. I don't know if I'll be able to reach it, but I really, really, really wanna try. 
I know I have perfumes in there and a lot of the perfumes are worth over a hundred dollars so I think that that's going to help a lot I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do this except just to do it I'm not gonna really concentrate on the price of the item I'm just gonna pan whatever's next on my list to pan and see where it takes me I'm not gonna force myself certain products um, I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see what happens. So I highly recommend this app. If you are a project panel or if you are simply somebody who wants to keep track of your makeup inventory and you have an iPhone, definitely, definitely, definitely get this app. Definitely. I mean, you have your do not buy list. You've got your, your shopping list. You've got everything. You can put in the dates that you bought it so you can keep track of your spending every single month. It's certainly worth the $3.99 price that it is. So that's it. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you have any ideas for videos, leave it in the comment section below because as of right now, I'm kind of fresh out of ideas except what I normally do, like my project updates and intros and things like that. So if you have ideas, please let me know. And if you want to reach me, uh, you can on Instagram or Twitter, and all that information will be in the description box below. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.